Hi, this is Bino. Today what I wanted to talk about was the MRS system and the SRS system. I wanted to talk about the differences and maybe the different equipment that you'll need for each. Right here we have the MRS system and over here is the SRS system. So on the MRS system, it's a lot less equipment that you need. On this, you can have like a, a friction pressic, a, a pulley, and a couple of carabiners, and you know, a rope. And on the SRS, you can ha you'll have um, whatever you choose. Uh, I choose a rope wrench, is the least amount of money. You'll still have a friction pressic, a pulley, and a carabiner. Also a quickie, um, a knee ascender, a chest harness, and also a foot ascender. Okay. Now for MRS, it'll run you, including the rope, about 350 bucks. And with the SRS system, it'll be about 700 plus, including the rope and all the other foot ascenders and other little components. <music> What I've heard a lot is that SRS takes so much time to set up. So what I thought I would do here is just set up each system, not in a hurry, but just to set it up and see how long it actually takes. So with the MRS system, basically you're just going to tie the friction hitch and put the carabiners to the pulley onto your belt and you know, then it'll be set up. With the SRS, you do have more components. So um, I added in the canopy tie where you'll make a butterfly and cinch it. Also, um, you'll have to put in the, the stationary rope system, in this case the rope wrench, then your friction hitches or your friction hitch, and then you'll have to um, connect your knee ascender and also um, a foot ascender, and you're going to connect your chest. So in, in this time, in this case, the MRS took about 40 seconds or so, and the SRS system was about a minute and 40 seconds, so a lot longer. And that's kind of, you can see I'm still putting it all together. Yep, it is a few extra components. Yep, there you go. Then the chesty, and now it's complete. MRS is a lot faster in this point. So we're calling this dead climb because it's your dead weight that you gotta pull up and it's, we're, we're doing it at about 15 feet high and it's MRS against SRS. And I'm using the uh, knee ascender and a foot ascender. So you can see quickly how, how quickly I'm getting up with the SRS system. And I'm body thrusting and it's just taking me a while. I'm spending a lot of energy. Um, I'm already set and ready with the SRS. This uh, body thrusting just takes a while. Um, it did take me a long time to set up the knots with the SRS system, but I think um, after I'm set up, it's a lot easier to climb. And if I had to say go higher than 15, if I had to go say 40 feet high, I would be spent after body thrusting with the MRS system and I would just easily walk up to the 40 foot mark with an SRS. So I kind of think um, it's, it's a good system to have for that reason. What I wanted to do here was to pit MRS and SRS against um, walking up the tree. So in the MRS system, it's called body thrusting. And when you get up there, you'll advance your line to the next level. The reason I wanted to do that is because I heard a lot that you just can't do it with SRS. And in, in the SRS system, if you have the quickie, you can definitely do it. You just use a foot ascender and one foot on the tree and 
then you just advance up the tree just like you would if you were body thrusting. Um, pretty close in time. In this example, the in the SRS system, um, I threw the rope over a branch. On the back side, it got snagged on a little uh, twig, so it took a little bit longer. But I'd say that you know once I got to the next level there, and if I had to throw higher, and in that next level it was like say a dead climb, the SRS system would be a heck of a lot better because with the MRS system you'd have to keep on body thrusting and the higher you go you know more energy spent but uh, you could definitely do it with the SRS system so I think comparable they're both comparable in that method Here I'm putting them to the test. MRS limb walking. So when I'm tending my line and I'm walking outward with an MRS system, it, you feel like you need more balance. The, the rope moves on you, so it, you definitely feel like, yeah, when you're walking, it's your balance that you, it's really keeping you on the, on the branch. Now with the SRS system, um, walked out felt pretty stable. If I move a foot, it's a foot. And when I was walking back in, I could hold the line in front of me and it was a real sturdy, solid point. So I didn't feel like I needed as much balance. In fact, I felt more solid when I was walking inward. When I go back to the MRS system. When I'm coming inward, I, I have to let off the, the tension on the line. So it's making me have more balance. It, it took a little bit longer and I didn't feel as secure. So I really like the SRS system even on a limb walk. Here we're gonna work on a natural crotch redirect. So with the um, SRS system, it was pretty simple. I, I only had the one line to worry about. <clears throat> and then once I got it over the crotch and connected back to myself, the friction hitch was just fluid. I didn't have to worry about it um, getting tight on me or anything like that. Um, once I connected, I was able to walk freely outward and then when I wanted to come back in, I could also walk in easily. So when I went to the MRS system, I got it connected to myself and right away it, the two lines the were just tight. It kind of froze up on me. It also helped to make my friction hitch tight. So walking out wasn't so bad, but trying to come back in, it was real difficult. The SRS on the other hand, <clears throat> really smooth. And it's a real good point. With the SRS, you could do multiple redirects. So you could do one, two, three branches and your friction hitch moves the same. It doesn't um, hinder in any way. Really easy to connect back to yourself. You don't have to worry about the other two lines getting in the way. It doesn't confuse you. So, I mean, that part about 
the redirect, I think the SRS is really superior. Huge point in it. Um, MRS, it's nice. If you were going to do a redirect, you probably have to have like a sling or maybe a couple carabiners to make the redirect work well. With SRS, not necessary. So I think that if I'm thinking about both systems, I think I like the SRS system a little bit more. Um, I wouldn't say that I'd, I'd just get rid of MRS because, the, you know, it's good to keep in your, your toolbox. But with the SRS systems, there's a lot of things that you can do. Um, you can eliminate also equipment. And it does have more equipment, but you can eliminate equipment. Like if you're going to do an MRS system, you wouldn't really need an, a friction saver with the SRS because there's no need. If you do a canopy tie, there's no friction. If you do a base anchor, there's still no friction. So you kind of can eliminate a friction saver. Also, the fact that you can throw up, say, 60 feet into a tree and from the ground just walk up your rope pretty easily, almost like you're walking up a ladder. I mean, that's a real huge thing. You could get a group of, um, if you had a crew and they're all with the SRS system, you could attack a huge tree you don't really have to just walk up the center. You could just pick points in the tree and all of you could get a lot of work done. That's a huge point too. For me, I think that's that's one of the beauties of the SRS system. Um, with the MRS, you're definitely going to have to walk up the tree unless you're going to body thrust. And if you're going to try to body thrust about 50 feet, that's that's tough. Or, you know, go back to the foot locking method. But uh, yeah, I think with SRS, you don't even have to worry about that. Um, there's other things you can do, like um, you could also climb palm trees with an SRS, and you can even work on a spar. I think, uh, yeah, I think uh, my mind would be made up on the SRS. I think I really like it. Um, yeah, I think I'll kind of leave it at that. So that was a comparison on the MRS system and the SRS system on a few different aspects. Um, entering the tree on a standalone line body thrusting, um, do it in a little bit of advancing, a redirect, and also a limb rock. Um, for me, I think the SRS is more efficient. Um, there's a few things that I didn't mention that you can do um, if you're entering a tree with an SRS system. You can go over multiple branches, do a base anchor. You don't have to isolate the line. That's a real good benefit. Um, and on the redirect, I, I think that SRS is a heck of a lot better than the MRS system. Anyhow, that's uh, kind of my feelings on it. So that was a comparison on MRS and SRS. I um, hope you guys like it. Give me your thoughts. What do you guys like? Do you like the MRS system or the SRS? Anyhow, um, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to see what we do. All right. See you next week. Take care.